My name is Blake Wilson, and it is a joy to be before all of you this morning to testify the work that God has done in my life and in my time in seminary. By God's grace, I was raised in a Christian home. Both my parents were Christians, and both my grandparents uh, on both sides were Christians as well, who loved and feared the Lord. They set a tremendous example for me that I can only hope to emulate. I was led to uh, Saving Faith, called to Saving Faith at a young age. I don't remember the exact date, but I remember the Lord putting a desire in my heart for His people and also for the lost. It wasn't until college that I uh, experienced my first real test of faith. I wrestled in middle school, I wrestled in high school, and I loved it. During that time, my love and faith in Christ and my love for wrestling, they coexisted side by side very well. But it wasn't until I entered college that uh, my love for athletics began to show its dominating force. Wrestling became my first love, became my identity, and I never saw it coming. My sophomore year of college, I had an injury that eventually led to the end of my, my wrestling career. This crushed me. It really broke me to the core. And I began to question the goodness of God and uh, even His existence. If something I loved so much could be taken away in such a drastic fashion, uh, how could God be real and how could He be good? I transferred colleges after that injury because I could see my life spiraling downward quickly at a very steep slope. And uh, that transfer ended up being the best thing that could have happened to me. I couldn't see it then, but I look back now and see how the Lord used that time as a monumental and very important lesson for my life. That my identity could be in nothing other than Jesus Christ, and my first love could never be anything of this world. I made a new set of friends after transferring who encouraged me in the Lord, and uh, my faith was renewed with great joy. After graduating college, I left for Pascagoula, Mississippi, where I served alongside uh, the chaplain at the Pascagoula, Mississippi jail. Uh, we spent many of our hours ministering to the men in the jail, and we weren't in the jail. We spent uh, a lot of our time evangelizing to the local communities. Uh, it was a great time, and, but it was there that I realized my inadequacy in teaching God's Word. I could not bear the thought of misinterpreting Scripture or teaching the men something uh, that was counter to God's Word. And I knew at that time that I needed extra training if I was going to continue in ministry and uh, being faithful to God's Word. I met my wife, Emily, while I was in Mississippi, and uh, during that time she was an incred uh, incredible and tremendous blessing to me, encouraging me to be faithful in God's Word, but also encouraging me to pursue seminary. So when my time in Mississippi came to an end, uh, I went to be an intern at Meadow Valley Community Church where my father-in-law pastors. And he was very influential in discipling me and also directing me towards t TMS. And right now I can't imagine being anywhere else. The Lord used my college injury in a mighty way to refocus my mind and my heart on Christ. But nothing in my life has ever shaped me or molded me as TMS has done during my last four years here. I look back now and see how God's goodness and how His grace has worked in a monumental way to bring me to this podium today. Seminary has not been easy. In fact, it's been one of the greatest challenges I've ever faced. I didn't know if I was going to even make it past my first year. Intense, the intense study was like anything I had ever experienced, and my sin and my guilt stood before me like a hundred-foot wall. I was being pruned. I was being refined and the fire burned. The smoke was thick, but in the haze, in my doubt, in my fear, in my inadequacy, there was truth. And that's what I had to stand on. And uh, in that truth, um, God was real. And I realized that God called me here for a specific purpose, to proclaim the Word of God. No matter what I faced, God was bigger. It was knowing and growing in God's Word that gave me the strength to move forward. It wasn't that the challenges in seminary became less, but it was that God's truth became great to enable me to face those present trials in uh, endurance and perseverance. And now with only a couple of months left until graduation, I eagerly await to see what the Lord has for my family. My wife, Emily, has been such an important part of my life throughout TMS. Without her constant reminder of who Christ is and her continual encouraging 
uh, encouragement to me, her care, her love, I wouldn't be here today. And I can't thank the Lord enough for the gift he gave me and Emily. I love you, hon. And also the gift that he gave us in our son, Gavin, who is now two and a half weeks old. Following graduation, I'd like to serve in the Navy as a chaplain, if the Lord would have it. But regardless of where the Lord leads me, I'm confident that he has called me to preach his word and shepherd his people. And I am unspeakably honored to serve him in this way. Thank you.